battle for both sides of you because no matter how bad things get, you've always been honest and supportive and you do everything in your power to make it better. You've always pushed me towards my goals, even when I'm ready to give up, and you work hard so that we can get where we want to be no matter how crazy and busy our schedules get. You always made time to spend with me, and that means a lot to me, and I don't think I've ever told you how much it does. So, I vow to always take the good with the bad, to love to support you no matter what crazy goal you're trying to accomplish, and I also vow to always be honest with you and love you as much, or just as much, as the cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our cats. first week of dating, of you told me we were going to get married, and this is probably the only time I will ever tell you this, so soak it in right now. But you were right, <laughs> but I'm happy that you were. <laughs> Kristen. I'm in love with you. I knew your yes after a hundred no's meant that you were going to be a pain in my ass. But it's all worth it to come home every night to an unparalleled feeling you give me when I see your smile. It's like a kid waking up on Christmas morning every time I see you. It's the feeling that makes me vow to communicate with patience and humility, to, to, honor, to honor you by being loyal, and to grow old and wrinkly with you. Christian and Andrew have vowed their love and commitment to one another. And what God is joining together, let no man put it under. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> yeah! They are the most sickeningly sweet couple there is. They call each other on their way home from work, cook together, bum together. <laughs> They're adventurous together and very, very messy together. Uh, they're constantly next to each other and it's plain to see. The Andrew is terrified for his life, so it's okay, blink twice if you're being held against your will. <laughs> um, all joking aside, I'm so happy that they found each other and decided to share the rest of their lives together. Andrew already feels like part of the family and it's felt that way for a very long while. So like all great wedding speeches, I'm going to end with a quote. Marriage is trying to kill each other over and over, but never succeeding. So may you always continue to try killing each other for the rest of your life. I love you, and to Kristen and Andrew, congratulations. As for how he's changed, well, I don't know how you got him to do the dirty dishes because I tried very hard and everything when we were roommates. Uh, <laughs> but I believe it must be love. You see the potential in Drew and make him want to exceed it. And somehow you still love him, even after all the ridiculous things he gets into. Andrew has selected you to spend the rest. <clears throat> Andrew has selected you to spend the game of love and life with. And I can't wait to see how that game is played. Andrew and Kristen, everybody. Hey.